Professor Freud. I'm Dr. Jung. I've simply opened the door. It's for the young man like yourself to walk through it. Perhaps she's the one for your experimental treatment. I was really, really nervous, um, and I, you know, with riddled with anticipation going into the project because I didn't really get a chance to meet anyone until I arrived in Germany. So I flew there after doing, you know, sending David a self-tape and started uh, and, and met him on the day of our camera tests in full period hair and makeup. And, uh, and the first time I met Michael, he had just uh, ridden on his, on his motorbike from London and I think he had just come into Germany and he was still vibrating from his motorbike and he had his little glasses and his cap on and he kind of got off his motorbike and shook my hand and was like, hello, I'm Michael Fassbender. And I was like, wow. Um, so, you know, it was just, it was, it was totally surreal. It was a really kind of crazy thing that happened to me. But then when you start working on the film, it just becomes, you know, organic and, and like working on, working with any peer. So it was, it was really special. Sex. Male. Family. Child. Divorce. No. I think when when you read a script like A Dangerous Method, you you have to do more than one script reading and understand the, the, the layers in in any kind of in any Cronenberg film. I mean there's just so much going on and so you start to dissect things like the arc of the story and the and the relationship that Emma has with, with Jung and that place within the film and you do, you know, a, a breakdown of the script and then you start to do scene studies and you collaborate with great you know costume designers like Denise Cronenberg uh, who are really kind of interested in collaborating and creating a, a, an image for a character and that speaks to how you move and so all, it, it's it's really just a collective with with so many different people and information that comes together uh, and then I, I really believe that David kind of cast people that truly embody their characters as well so it doesn't become this great departure or this great journey that you go on because it's something that's already kind of innately in you.